Okay, in this video we're going to create a uh, check-in mobile application using appre.io. The uh, application will look like this when it's done. This is how it looks when, when it opens up. You can sign in. And log in. And if the password is incorrect, it takes you to the check-in page. Uh, you can check in. Your address appears. Click check me in and the check-in is recorded. Uh, you can click here and uh, go and see what the last check-ins are of you and anybody else that has registered. And this is the this is the uh, last check-in that I just did. And uh, you can of course go back and check in again. Uh, and there's a logout screen, a uh, logout button. So that's the application we're going to create. Um, we're going to use the uh, an, an API, a web service uh, from GeoNames. And before you begin, you should click here and uh, sign up for a GeoNames uh, free user account. And this will allow you to use the web APIs. You have to make sure that after you sign up, uh, you confirm your email address, and then there's a link down at the bottom where you need to you, where you need to enable uh, your account to use the web services. And uh, the web service we're going to use is the find nearest address here, which we're going to use the JSON version. And we see that when you input a latitude and a longitude, it will return, and what we're interested in is the postal code, the street, and the street number. So we're going to use that. Uh, so uh, first, uh, we're going to start by creating a database for us to use. So uh, <clears throat> this is my website that I've set up for the class, and I'm going to log into cPanel. And this is uh, here I've logged into cPanel. And I'm going to scroll down and click on My SQL Databases. Click. And I'm going to create a new database here, and I think I'm going to name it Project Create Database. And it's been added, so go back. Uh, then I need to create a user. Uh, so I'm going to create a user. I think I'm going to call my user P user for project user. And I'm going to make a password here. And create the user. And uh, we see now that the user has been created. So go back. And lastly, I need to add the user to the database. So this is my user. This is the database I just created. And I'm going to click Add, to Add User to Database. And on this screen, I'm going to give my user all the privileges. Click All Privileges. Then click Make Changes at the bottom. And uh, when this green message here comes up, that indicates we're done. We can go back. And so we have created a new database uh, with the user. So let's go back to our cPanel home. And uh, let's go to phpMyAdmin. Uh, this is how we're going to, this is the tool we can use to verify that our database has been created. And also we're going to make a couple tables. And we can see now I've got a database called Project. And there are no tables. Okay, so uh, next we're going to we're gonna um, uh, copy this check-in services PHP code that is that contains the services the web services that your uh, mo your mobile application is going to use to access the uh, database tables that. From, for the database that you just created. So let's take a look at this code. Uh, I've given this code to you, but I like to go over it quickly 
so you can see what all the sections are and uh, with your project you may choose to modify some of these, these uh, sections you should probably because you're probably going to want to add some check-in fields and so on. So this is just a great big long PHP script and uh, I begin by defining our time zone and saying that it's going to be a JSON output. You need to set up these uh, these three variables here with the name of your SQL user that you just created, the name of the database you just created, and then the password that you uh, used uh, that you gave P, uh, your user here. Uh, this here is the, uh, the the name of the tables that the the um, the tables that are going to be in in your database. There is one table which uh, will contain the registrations for people that register, and then there's a table to uh, to record the check-ins. And uh, so you can leave those if you want to. Uh, here's the uh, the commands to connect to the, to the database, and we want to execute these to make sure that that it works. Now. These three functions here set up the your the server and your database with what you need. The first one uh, writes a file in your folder that you put this in uh, that will allow a uh, a uh, mobile application to access your pro this PHP program as a web service. So that's necessary. The next one here will actually create the registrations database if it doesn't exist. And this one will actually create the check-ins database if it doesn't exist. So that's why we do not have to go into phpMyAdmin and actually create these tables because this program will create it the first time it, it's executed. This thing, this loop here just keeps track of if when this program is called, if uh, a web service actually executed. Otherwise, it displays out this message here, which indicates uh, what, what the valid input sets are. Uh, this is the web service for registering, and we see that it uh, in, takes in a registration name and a password, checks to see if it's there already. If it is, it responds with a message, returns a status code of zero. Otherwise, it inserts the person and then uh, reads it back and uh, um, confirms confirms the uh, the insertion and returns the uh, the record that was inserted and marks that that something was actually done. If it's a login. Then it uh, checks to see, it uh, does a select to see if the person's there. If the person is there, it returns the the record and the status of password correct, status code of one. Otherwise, it re it, it returns a status message of that the user did not exist and a status code of zero. The insert function is actually to uh, insert a check in, and uh, these are the check in variables that uh the uh that are recorded in the table uh right now you may want to add to this and this is the insert statement and uh a return message if it was successful and uh this select uh where you're where it's set to an asterisk will return everybody in the registrations table uh it reads up the registrations table and then it goes back and does a select for each person and re and uh, uh, the, to uh, to determine their most recent check-in. And then that then then an array is built and that array is returned. Finally, uh, we aren't going to use this function, but uh, if you if the select variable is a number greater than zero instead of an asterisk, then it actually returns the record of the uh, the, rec the registration ID of what the select value indicates. And this checks to see uh, at the end if we didn't do anything 
then uh, it displays out uh, a message. Here we record the transaction. That way we have a nice record of it and uh, we're able to uh, use it for debug purposes and so on and see if anybody else is using our, our API. Also, uh, at the end here, we have the function for initializing the HD access file, which basically reads it, checks to see if this line is there. Uh, otherwise, if, it's, if not, it adds it. Uh, this initializes the registrations table, and this initializes the checklist table. So let's uh, let's copy this and uh, paste it into our uh, a file that we create, and let's just use cPanel to create this file. I'm going to go to the file manager, and I'm going to sh make sure the show hidden files checkbox is checked because I want to confirm that the HD access file is created. Uh, click go, and this is my public HTML directory. I'm going to create a I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm going to call it Project. Create folder. And then I'm going to go into Project, and I'm going to create a new file. New file. And I'm going to name the file, uh, let's see, Check-in Services.php. And then I'm going to open it up. Doesn't really matter which editor I use. Open it up. And uh, with it open here, I'm going to go back to my code here. And I should just be able to copy this. All this code right here. Shift. And uh, let's see. Can I right click and copy? And then I'm going to go back to that. Uh, my check-in services.php and I'm going to let's see can I right click and paste ah oh, yes here it is it looks like it pasted pretty good and then I need to uh, set these up so I might as well do that when I'm here we're talking about uh, rich 354 underscore project let's see Rich, that's the database. We just change, replace this as rich 354 project. And the user, I did name it PUser, so this is going to be rich 354. This is my user login name. And I made my password a very secure PUser. Okay, okay and uh, to, I think I'm going to name my registration table registrations without the three and check-ins without the three. Okay, I'm going to uh, save this and uh, I think I'm going to I think I'm going to close it. Uh, so now when I when I refresh this let's see I refresh this Okay, now we see that it's a file there. Uh, now I'm going to, uh, let me go back to my website, which very nice website here. If I refresh this, I should see the projects table. If I click here, I should see my check-in services. And I'm just going to click on it and execute it and see what happens. So click. We see that we get the status JSON back indicating what our valid uh, what the valid input sets are. So uh, we can, uh, when login equals something, we can, we also must include a login name and a password. When register equals something, I must include that. Uh, this is, uh, I must include uh, the register. When register equals one, I need to include the register name, password, and so on. For insert, uh, it's, it's these fields, and for the select, that, that just needs to, to equal uh, a number or an asterisk. 
and then the status code here has been returned. Okay, so that works. Uh, that must mean that if we go back to our database, this is the project database, when we click up here now and refresh, we see that our two tables have been created. And here they are. And when we go to our our directory here, we can uh, reload this, and we see an HT access file has been created. And there's also a log that's been created. We can view the log by going back and refreshing in our projects file, and we see that we have a log here now that's been created. It's going to system viewed in notepad which uh, it just looks like this okay so let's um uh let's see let's continue so now we have uh we have set these up we've and we've executed it and now we're going to uh, open up apri.io Apri and uh, create these services here. So let's uh, go to our apri.io window. Uh, here we are. I've logged in. I'm going to create a new app. Click create new app. And I'm going to name it uh, uh, check-in. Uh, app. Because I see I have one. So I'm going to create check in app two. 